and out. I'm going to show you how to get 35 millimeter film negatives onto your computer using a DSLR or a mirrorless camera and a slide duplicator. It's super easy. Hope you enjoy it. So first I bought this Lentar slide duplicator off of eBay for $5. It has a frosted back glass plastic and some springs to hold a slide in place. It's got a small aperture where you can get a nice deep depth of field. I had to buy an adapter, it's a T2 to Sony FE, in order to mount it to my Sony a7 III camera. And then I took some PVC ID cards and cut a square into it, taped the end together. Here you can see I open up the ID cards, slide the negative in, and then slide the whole thing behind the springs in the slide duplicator. Backlighting comes from a simple LED panel, the sky, or a bright light bulb, it doesn't matter. I set the camera to ISO 100 and use the histogram to get my exposure. Once all my pictures are taken, I then use an SD card reader to get them to my iPad. There's a ton of choices to use for software on your tablets or computers. I use Pixelmator Photo. It allows me to invert in batch, and from there I use Apple Photos to do my edits. Once all the images have been inverted, I can then open them up in Apple Photos where I can do my crops and my edits. Here I'm just adjusting the brightness, the contrast, the shadows, you know, everybody's going to have their own style of editing. This is my basic stuff. I like to add a little sharpening, a little detail, and then move on. I can make edits later um, if I don't care for it, but this is going to get me in the ballpark. A great feature is that being that the depth of field is so deep and the slides are held at the perfect distance away, there's no focusing at all required. For any dust and scratches, I'll go back to Pixelmator where I'll use the Band-Aid tool and, and tidy things up a bit if I need to. I don't get carried away with it, but just enough to make it look like a clean image. So that's all there is to it. It's actually just about 10 to 15 minutes to scan an entire roll. And then after that, you just do your editing, which you would do anyway. Thanks for watching.